Hey everybody! So we're in Georgia, in Blairsville, hanging out with my mother-in-law. <laughs> and uh, we just went for breakfast at Cabin Coffee Company, and it was delicious. This is a twister. It was so good. And I got a uh, croissant uh, with like a bacon, egg, and cheese croissant. It was so delicious. So, yeah. The golden. That's right. That's right. So you can just sit on that. Oh, there's two of them. That's cool. So we are now going to the Museum of Mountain Life. Ooh, an old typewriter. Wow, that's an oldie. Look at that. Oh, this is awesome. Is that Santa? Santa's in the chimney. The wit and humor of America. Amy Vanderbilt's complete book of etiquette. That's cool. What, 1994 Sears catalog? Huh. <laughs> How does that even work? Yeah. Well, I have to read um, this article. Recently, the book had done back in January. Okay, and he's talking about how he uh, saw him taking down the old street lights around the square, and he got one of them. So that weird-looking contraption that they call the torture device, that is actually a hair curler. You put your hair inside those little pins, and then when you plug it in, it heats up. Oh, a different fashion. That's awesome. For different years. So it goes all the way from 1900. All the way up to the 1920s. Old school sewing machine. A spinning wheel. From the nineteen from the eighteen hundreds. Wedding dress in the early nineteen hundreds. And Jerry. Kind of creepy. Oh, a homemade cradle. That's pretty big for a baby. It's probably the same size as the crib is now.
So this was the woman who lived here. This was her dining room set. Snow White. A little bit of Disney in every video. You get a whole dining room set. So you have an old school high chair from the 1960s and 70s. I think one of the coolest parts about old school stuff is their kitchens. Like, it's so awesome. So here we go, here's their kitchen. So we got a old school stove. And I guess this is an old school pressure cooker. The pots and pans. Cream of wheat. Bunch of cream of wheat. And you got an old school sink. I don't know if it's still operable because I don't believe they had dial and dawn back then. Oh, apparently I could touch them. Let's see. Oh wow, it still works. Real tail price two hundred and eighteen dollars. The freezer with the ice trays. That's really cool. Oh. This is pretty awesome too. So you get two options, cooler or butter. See, we get a 1930s and 40s toaster, a washboard. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, I guess this was a toaster too. So that's for butter. A juicer. Egg basket. Oh man, old school iron. Oh, it's heavy. These are heavy. You want to make waffles? Okay. This is the well, and that's an old uh, ringer washing machine over there. Oh, that's what that is? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's awesome. And this is what they call a windlass. What does that do? That's used when you're digging a hole in the ground for a well. Oh. You have two people, and then they put a chain or a heavy rope or whatever they're using and tie a bucket to it mm -hmm. and lower whoever's doing the digging down in the well, mm -hmm. bring them back up, bring the dirt up, and make Oh wow. Until it's completed. Around the square, mm -hmm. in 1930, when Blairsville first got electricity. And this, it's located, I don't know how much you've been around town, but when you go towards Vogel Park, mm -hmm. there's 180 before you get to Sunshine Grocery. It goes over to Brasstown Ball. Mm -hmm. You turn on that and you go, Take another right and you go down to the creek where this used to be. It's no longer there. They brought what was left of it here for display. Mm. It was 1850. One of the original mills wow. and grist mills in the And it was moved here in 1995 from about 12 miles west of town. 
Wow. Was that was that hard to move? Well, I've got pictures in there where they took it apart, they numbered the logs, mm -hmm. took it apart, and brought it here and rebuilt it. Oh. But okay. any lumber, which was a lot of it that was rotted, mm -hmm. they replace it with logs. They cut trees there on the property to try to keep it as accurate as possible yeah. and replace the logs. All the bricks were original. They hauled all the, not bricks, the stone. Mm -hmm. They hauled all those here and used the original stone. Water from collecting in there. Oh, okay. John Payne and his brother David built the cabin. And John Payne married in 61. That's the same year the cabin was built. And the Civil War broke out, so he and his brother and some of the other brothers uh, joined the Georgia Confederacy. And he became a blacksmith during the while he was in the war. And that's the loft up here. Mm -hmm. There's a door there that led to another room. They didn't bring that room here because it was really in bad shape. So yeah, they, okay. they did not bring that here. But I've had a descendant here a couple of weeks ago, and he actually lived in here with his great grandmother years really? ago. Really? And he said uh, they had beds in there for the, they had seven kids. The Paines did after the war was over. <laughs> this is Mrs. Payne's old spinning wheel. Wow. Bub butter churn, right? Chair and there's a little stool desk there. These chairs were made by um, Jason Reed. His picture's on the wall there at the old courthouse in the lobby. He's oh, okay. a furniture maker. He and his sons made these chairs back turn of the century. This is the Payne's bed. Uh, again, the descendants said the Payne's lived out, I mean, slept out here, and the kids slept in the room in mm -hmm. there. And this is what they call a rope bed. Oh. And you have to, when it starts sagging, there's a tool that you tighten them, mm -hmm. tighten them with. And that's where the uh, terminology sleep tight came from. Oh, really? People in the olden days had to tighten their... That's awesome. And then they put straw in them. And here, they didn't use feathers. Oh, okay. I was wondering feathers. what it was. I was like, is that a mattress? <laughs> <laughs> and they tell me, now, when it was first built, that would have been your place of cooking and, and mm -hmm. eat. But in later years, they built a kitchen out this door. There was a kitchen out here. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Now, this loom has nothing to do with the panes. This belonged to the Collins family. That's Mr. and Mrs. Collins. And there's a history on the loom right next to you hanging on the door. Oh, okay. 1800s. It'll come out for you. Heritage Festival here. Um, 2015 and this lady approached uh, Cindy who was when we have the heritage festival Cindy comes in here and starts a fire and actually cooks in here and tells people about really? the cabin and this lady come in approached her the loom was just sitting here in disrepair just somebody had just donated it and brought it in because mm -hmm. it was made by Mr. Collins and the lady says uh, I know how they should be put back together do you want my assistance to tell you how so all last year Cindy and her husband put it back together uh, the lady would tell him so you can see some of the new boards mm -hmm. any, any like the pills I think had to be put back in there he had to make some other new boards and stuff and then once they got it built then the lady told Cindy how to thread it and Cindy started making that mm -hmm. which will be a rug like that down there but thanks to this one lady mm. they were able to uh, pretty Make much it, get it back yeah. in order although they still say you know don't touch work it. In progress. <laughs> 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 so don't was touch it. <laughs> <laughs> so all this wasn't originally on here no uh, oh wow done all that i mean they were here that's I don't amazing know how many days they'd be down here work a little bit each day you know it's the window went shut uh -huh. the flooring was what they call half logs mm -hmm. they took the log and just oh okay so it was really heavy duty flooring that was the yeah. original flooring in here that's an old grain box um i thought it was a desk and they corrected me i thought it was a desk too <laughs> and, uh, 
seeds. I have the green. Hello, we had two. Gold pair of glasses. Yeah. Which sorghum syrup? In October, we have the sorghum festival here. Okay. And sorghum is, um, you can drive along the highway and you may think you're looking at cornfields, but mm -hmm. it's really sorghum fields. Okay. And on the sorghum festival, it's over here at Meeks Park, and they actually show you how they break it down. They put it in the thing and have a mule walk around to crush it down, you know. Of course, nowadays it would be made differently, but... Mm -hmm. That's the olden way, and they make the sorghum syrup at the uh, Meeks Park. It's a so like you come over somebody's house and you just look in their window, like, hey, <laughs> <laughs> I have two kittens. I've been feeding. It was a cabin that Duncan and then Gillespie people families lived in it, but when they moved it here, they decided to make it a blacksmith shop. Oh, okay, yeah, there's some implements here. We got some farm implements. 30. They had around the square at Christmas time with presents and stuff in it. But there's, if you look in, there's a, there's a big old billow right there. Oh, yeah. And there's some. Like a horse ox mm -hmm. yoke thing there. And there's another billow over there. And some plows and things. But the Heritage Festival, they usually have a blacksmith down here. And he's got the fire going and he's making things. <laughs> they're trying to we're building this den until they got their house built it's oh, okay. small and it was a little bit bigger but it was rotted so they just cut it off and oh okay they're simulating a corn crib here okay but it's we just store stuff in it's not open and this is a barn and this is the original size too uh-huh oh, wow. Four stall, four stall barn. 1868. Stuff, as you can see, I'm yelling at them. They need to fix it up and make a better display. But <laughs> we don't have the manpower. You look at here. There's tons of plows. <laughs> oh yeah. Look at this big old oxen yokes here. Plows and things in there. Mm -hmm. I think we're overrunning plows. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit. I have no idea what this is. <clears throat> it's from New York, though. Lever cutter. <laughs> the New York lever cutter. I have no idea what that is. Hmm. Brought it here and fixed it up. Yeah, it was. Uh, I found pictures of it where it was. I've got it in that book I'm putting together. Is that like what you would use to go up there? <laughs> kind of looks like about the right size to get up there. Yeah, I, the, it, when we have the historical the heritage festival, they usually bring uh, animals in and they mm -hmm. put fencing up back here. Oh, okay. But that looks like the same age as those, so I have no idea. Yeah. Morning. Oh, that the side one? Mm -hmm. And I told you that door went to mm -hmm. it. And this had a tin roof, but when it was first built, of course, it was the mm -hmm. wood shingles on there. Late, well, they didn't have tin back in 1861. This other book I'm putting together has got them actually taking it down. And then when they moved it here, this is them putting um, it back pretty, together. Yeah. This is the guys, their pain descendants. It helped to uh, rebuild it. That's so cool. And that's the, I told you they brought the stone from mm -hmm. the old building here. It's amazing that they rebuilt that. Mm -hmm. And then the night before the dedication, the Confederate soldiers camped out and protected everything. Aww. <laughs> Very nice. Mm. Oh, that's mm. when it's actually running. Mm -hmm. And this is all newspaper articles about them moving it here and everything. Mm -hmm. I think it's amazing that it's a workable stove and everything. It's yeah. Tom Rafter. He's the one that rebuilt the uh, 
Oh, the loom. Mm -hmm. That's his wife, Sandy. She's one usually has the fire going, oh. and she dresses in period clothing. Tells mm -hmm. people about the cabin. And let's okay. let me show you the other side. <laughs> That's the barn before oh, they moved it here. Dad. You probably haven't seen these. No, I haven't. <coughs> I don't think I have. I found this down in the courthouse. And I found this in, the, in one oh, of the yeah. old ca uh, calendars we had. Mm -hmm. It's that actual barn out there. And they had this dog that went up and down the ladder. Maybe that. Maybe that's the shorter version it of the... Might, might be. And there's what it looked like before they moved it. I was looking around on the computer one day when Bill was off it's just to see what they had because I was trying to do this research on all mm -hmm. these buildings and I found all these pictures here of the barn, the shape it was in before they moved it here. So they had no one moved the one from schoolhouse. Yeah. And this is, after, this is me, this is recently, mm -hmm. these are the ones I took out there. I call it the corn crib. Mm -hmm. This is before they moved it. So these were all pretty much spaced out, like mm -hmm. on a big piece of land. Property, yeah. They oh, all okay. came from different locations. And then and this. They were all brought here, except for this house. This house was built, built here. Right. These were on their computer. That is the blacksmith shop. Mm -hmm. This is ones they had right at. They were you still didn't see the lumber. They had just reassembled it. Mm -hmm. Well, they moved it here, but I did find an article on it when they started disassembling it. It mm -hmm. was in one of the newsletters. And these were pictures I took. Uh, and the next big thing that we've got going on is the... So that was super awesome. So we saw a lot of old stuff. And um, apparently sometimes they have heritage festivals here where they actually put some of the stuff into use. So you'll see like a blacksmith. You'll see... Um, them churning butter you'll see them actually using the fireplace and stuff so if you want to check it out and actually see it like it would have been back then go to a heritage festival they have a labor day weekend so the house that we were just at the museum is right behind us over here now in front of me which you might be able to see in my glasses is the courthouse now I did do a video on the courthouse and the really cool dollhouse and whatnot that's in the courthouse um, it's gonna be in the card above but we also went to breakfast right to my left over here so um, yeah there's a lot of stuff to do just within a couple blocks right now we're headed to a tiki bar over in Blairsville by Marina it looks really pretty They have all these different drinks. I'm getting at one. The Blue Ridge Boat Wreck. And you have all these different entrees. Let's see. Burger, VLT, hot dog, turkey, bacon, and guacamole sandwich. I know we're at four wrap. Grilled cheese, quesadilla. So this is the Blue Ridge Boat Wreck and it's green. Tastes like a Malibu Bay Breeze. Very much like a Malibu. With something else. I guess that's whatever the Midori is. So we are at the Tiki Bar. Alright. This is Tiki Bar. And we finished our drinks. Boat Dock Bar and Grill. So we had three of the Blue Ridge Boat Wrecks, and John got a Michael's Mango Tango. Did you like yours? Yes. John liked his. You all liked ours. His fruity. His um, fruity. One thing I will say is that it's a little light on alcohol, but. Otherwise, it was good. 
Do you like the uh, quesadilla? Yes, very delicious. Good. Actually, it has a very much of a je ne sais quoi. 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 I don't know. What? So we got the um, grilled cheese with um, bacon. Not bad. That has buttery as I thought it would be. It's still good. So we are on our last day in Georgia and um, we're burning stuff. We're burning all of our like mail and stuff that uh, we brought with us that we were going to shred. But rather than burn out the uh, motor on our shredder, we figured just come and burn it. And it's so much fun to burn things. I burn. I did I burn. We should probably put that stick in. No, the other side. The other, right there. Alrighty, so we are headed home because um, we are going back to Florida to finish clearing out our apartment and given our keys and everything and then we're going to stay at an Airbnb for like an infinite amount of time or unknown amount of time because well, not infinite <laughs> for a undisclosed amount of time because of the job I'm getting they don't know when I'm gonna start yet so I have no idea when I am going to be moving back to Georgia so um, I could be there a month I could be at a couple different BRBNBs for a few months who knows but it's definitely gonna be an interesting experience and it, I think it'll be really cool I think it'll definitely be interesting to sort of live on the limited means because right now we just have our stuff just for the month like of course I have my ears my makeup my hair no I don't have any of hair course. stuff no I just have ears makeup bows so um, the essentials, so exactly the essentials ears. because the place we're staying is only 10 to 20 minutes away from Disney which is awesome because I will be there a lot um, so of course I'm gonna need my Disney stuff. I got my big stitch back here, which you can see he is so comfortable. So he's I used the I sleep Sorry. next to him. And he's so comfortable. Um, She's a stitch over me. I do. Stitch is way more comfortable. Look at that view. Well, you will be able to see the view because I am time lapsing this drive. So. Uh, the, this is pretty much going to be the end of my video uh, for this past few days. I don't know how much it did, but you definitely did see some cool stuff in Blairsville yesterday. Uh, you're going to be coming on this adventure with us of different Airbnbs. If, if it takes more than a month to get this job, we'll either be in the same Airbnb or different ones. We'll see. Because our whole thing is that since we don't know when this job is coming in we have no way of say getting a lease for a house or at least for an apartment because say it's like a three or six or year lease we might not be there for even three months so airbnb seem to be the best way to go especially since they have you know free wi-fi you don't have to pay for now the sun's on this side you don't have to pay for electricity the only downside is is that this location um it's literally only like a bed the bathroom they have like a little mini fridge a toaster or a microwave and um like a hot plate so that's what we're gonna be using for the month it'll definitely be interesting um Nothing's happening. Oh, wait, here it goes.